I'm about to freaking reveal to you guys how freaking broke I am. You guys wanted it, you guys got it. I am freaking broke as hell. I'm finna show y'all how broke I am. But first, let's talk about a few things, shall we? <laughs> first of all, I have had a porn hub since 2022. We are currently in year 2023, and I quit my first Pornhub channel, which was a trending number one. Well, okay, I was in the top 100 ranking models yet. That means that I missed out, and I literally gave... It's like getting a Pornhub award and then giving it back. I'd like, here, I don't want it. I literally got up and sacrificed my channel over being upset being in my feelings and that is not the way to make money so anybody watching this video learn today that being in your feelings is not one of the ways to make money and before i get into money 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 because it's not all about money it's about having morals values and standards like are you gonna sell your soul for this money or are you going to keep your soul and still be able to produce good content? Because this is an algorithm-based platform, not a sell your soul illuminated platform. Which is why the decisions that we make is so important to be careful and be aware. And just know what you're doing and everything that you're doing. Like, to this day, you guys, I still don't know everything that I'm doing. I still go into things blindsidedly. I went into having a disease because I wanted to be fast and fuck on my fans. And while fucking on your fans is an amazing thing because they are the reason why I kind of got up to somewhere or get a little bit somewhere. I also didn't need to do it because I also got a lot of views and attention anyways. But, you know, I love my fans. You know, if you love me, I love you. And I want to show them that I appreciate them by giving them the chance to be with me. And that doesn't happen anymore because I do want to get pregnant and have children soon. So that's completely off, you know, the radar for happening anymore. But I did give people a chance and that's all that matters. Next thing about it is, is that it's not easy to make this type of money. I have did a lot of things that when I sit here and think about everything that I have did to this day, so far in my Pornhub career since ending that channel and only having like seven, six months of work because now I currently only have six months of work with this channel. And you know what, to be honest, I really see... Oh, what the fuck was I saying? Hold on. Yeah, so guys, I just sit here and think about all the things that I have did to get to this point today and it has been a lot. Like my management says, oh, you haven't did much, you haven't did anything, Aaliyah, you think you did it all, you think you know it all, but you don't. And meanwhile, that could or could not be true, I'll leave it up to you guys to decide on that one. I really do feel like I did a lot. I've had other channels, I've made dating apps in my Pornhub name to promote myself i have bought dating apps just to get unlimited access to liking everybody and that seems so fake but i'm like one of the realest girls on here i promise you i'm telling you that and i make real porn too so what how much more real does it get and i just did a lot it's not easy money just to make this little money i want you to know that because there are a lot of creators out there today who can honestly say they only get like $50 a month or they'll probably only get like $100 once every year because of so many different reasons that I really just don't find purposeful for this video to get into since nobody asked me. So who cares? But I'm just telling you guys that it's a lot of work that I have done and a lot of things that I have been through and especially getting the, the disease. I've gotten so many yeast infections. I couldn't do anything with myself. I was hurting. I, I felt like I, I took a break just for these reasons because I used to post like 50 videos a day and now I only do like two because I'm not the same anymore. I feel a little bit torn out and used up. But at the same time, I know that... um. I didn't have to do this to myself and you don't have to do this to yourself either, which is why I say it's all about decisions and just making sure that when you're making money and you're doing things in the sex or the 18 and older field, that you don't lose yourself or that you don't 
overbear yourself. I don't want to say kill yourself, but like overbear yourself with too much. It's not easy. It's not easy dealing with a Pornhub team that's in corporate that you feel like doesn't like you sometimes or doesn't want to promote you. I haven't I have yet to see myself promoted on Pornhub, believe it or not. I have yet to see myself in the recommendations of many people, which makes me wonder how folks find my videos. But I know that I also do a lot of cross promoting and a lot of work behind the scenes, which is why um with no further ado, let's get into the first six months of my paychecks because I just noticed that today I'm going to be getting my sixth paycheck from Pornhub and I'm so excited about it. Yay! <laughs> I'm so excited about it and I want to share with you guys how much I've been making based on how much you guys have been supporting me. So I'm going to go grab my piece of paper, a piece of pen, and then I'm going to write down my earnings for the past few months. And then I'm going to come back and record with my iPhone all the information and tell you guys. I'm not going to hide anything at all, okay? And if I have anything additional to say, I'll add it in the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video, by the way. And thank you for liking and uploading all my videos. I'm hoping that one day I'll get a Pornhub award, which is my biggest dream right now. And without you guys, I can't do it. So please, you guys, help me get there and um, just know that I appreciate you so, so much. And I'm not going to keep on talking or rambling any much more longer. Let's get straight into it. And oh, and on my channel, expect a lot more fucking porn instead of me just talking all the fucking time. Because I know I fucking talk a lot or I can, especially when I'm not shy and nervous. I'm, 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 going, I'm going through mental illness. Um... I'm going through disabilities, and then I'm going through the stresses of my life. So you guys just fucking bear with me. You fucking understand me. I'm too beautiful for you guys to be fucking letting that shit get the best of me. Because I don't let that shit get the best of me. I still create every single fucking day. And I still talk to you guys, like, every fucking now and then. Anyways, the first six months paycheck. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Why is not that before? All right, there we have it. So these are the first six months. I wrote down month one, month two, month three, month four, month five. And then I also wrote down the increments of how much residual income I've made for my revenue, that paycheck. Let's talk about it really quick. Not only am I going to tell you how much I made, but I'm going to tell you the type of content that I was posting up until this date. So let's get started. And don't mind the dirty nails. I have to go clean them. But I prefer to go get them done because I have a little bit of money. Unfortunately, some people spend off their money. But like, unlike me, I have a hard trust factor with Pornhub. So I always think that, oh, <laughs> I always think that, hey, this money is not going to last. So I always try to stack it up. So right now I have over, I have all the money saved up actually for tax purposes. But, um... I saved my money and I'm very proud of myself for that part, even though I did do some spending at first. But a majority of the money that I have spent so far was for investing. So if I don't have the full paycheck of all these checks that I have, I have just about enough to save in the meantime. Meanwhile, the other ones, I just invested in stuff like lingerie, business, all that stuff. So I did a lot of investing. Let's get into the first six months. So on month one, I made a whopping $193.11. That first month, I remember I was posting amateur content. And meanwhile, up until month six, where I made only $66.87, I still post amateur content, but it's not the same type of content that I post anymore. At first, I started off posting videos like um, getting my pussy ate in, but not actually getting my pussy eaten. So what I did was I was making videos, making my pussy very attractive. I had a very shaved pussy. My pussy was very fresher and younger because I started off when I was like 21 years old. So I started off with my shaved pussy and promoting that I wanted my pussy licked. Um, that made me a whopping $193 because I did not know how to make video titles. I didn't know about thumbnails that are attractive. 
And I also wasn't implying the same YouTube strategies and skills that I have learned from being a YouTuber over the past five years to almost a decade onto Pornhub platform. And even though everything that you try on YouTube will not necessarily work on Pornhub, some things are yet the same, but it's so, so different. So I noticed that I can try a few things that will work here, but I also know that there are some things that just won't work. So um, in month number two, I was posting more amateur content, but I started playing with my dildos. I remember I had a dildo that I bought when I was 18 years old at a sex store in New York. Shout out to Romantics. And when I went to Romantics, this is not sponsored at all for mentioning them. I bought me a tan dildo that you guys see a lot that I just said the other day I was bringing back the old dildo. And that video got a lot of views too. So I think you guys know what dildo I'm talking about. And that dildo helped me make a whopping $261.40 for that month. Month two. In month three, I started making over $300 per month. Because I was able to like get a grasp of Pornhub, the algorithm. I was emailing the Pornhub team a lot, complaining about things. And the more they would get back to me, I read their th I read their emails word for word. And I took it as a sign because low key, I'm a girl who could read codes. If there was anything that I could get a job for in life, I think that I could get a job in reading codes and numerical secrets. So what I did with those words about what they told me in response to what I was complaining about, because I complained a lot. <laughs> I got a lot of words from them, a lot of statements. So I paid close attention and applied the strategies into my channel. And that helps me make $367.93 for month three. In month four, I also made over $300. But I noticed that I was low about $50. And that's because I only made $309.50. By month three, yes, I have a grasp of Pornhub. But I'm not doing big numbers yet. I'm only getting like 16,000 likes and views. I'm only getting like 10,000 views. I'm only getting like 30,000 views. So that only equals like $30 or something. And so I lost out on almost like 50,000 views of people that were turned off because I was posting content that was irregular and kind of crazy. By that point, some of you guys were commenting things under my channel like I'm batshit crazy and that mental illness is real. And I think that's when I started to post about having a yeast infection at that time. So people started getting really pissed off and turned off by me. And at that point, I wasn't making the same type of pornos that I was making in month one and two and three. So the first three months was like really, really good for content when it comes to fans. But by that fourth month, making $309.50, people were really turned off. So I lost quite a few views. So that's okay, they always come back or there's always gonna be more, but I did notice that, so stay aware of that of your statistics. Now on Pornhub, you can't even see how many views you get per day. I used to be able to see that, like I would get like over 20,000 views per day or 10,000 views. Sometimes I would get 2,000 views per day on a bad day, and I also would get like 10,000 views on a really good day. But for the, me for the medium slash median, I would say I was making a good range of 6,000 views per day, even though that feature is no longer available and we can no longer see that anymore. So I just wanted to keep that in your mind. So month five. Month five is where I contracted chlamydia and trichomosis. And I made videos about it because I was very embarrassed and I was very scared. So I wanted to have a report on how I looked, how I felt, how I was. And so I made a video about it, not scared at all of what you guys would think, but mainly importantly, like how people would react. And people reacted pretty fair. I think that it's fair enough to say that everyone gets a disease here and there. Sometimes our shit all stinks and sometimes we get a UTI, even that, 
or STD or HIV. Sometimes things just happen. Um, it's very important that you guys take care of your health and make sure that you protect your health by getting tested. So um, getting tested with your partner especially is very important. But um, I only got like, I got a big raise that month actually. That month gave me a very good month because I was very, very honest with everybody like I always am. And I just came out and said, hey, everybody, I have a disease and this is what's going on with me. This is my reality. So it made me in month five, $397.68, which is amazing. Um, I'm expecting that paycheck right now. It hasn't checked in or bounced in yet. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm very, very excited. And now this month. We are only 10 days into the month, I believe, or six or seven days in. Today is November 7th currently, so we're currently on No Nut November. And I'm hoping that No Nut November will get me a very good, successful month this year because I'm looking forward to buying my family a house and a car and all that nice stuff and put a down payment on a mortgage. So I really need the money and I need the income. So what happened is I'm planning to do collabs with people, but only if they pay me and they sponsor me. Now, Pornhub is not my only way of getting an income or my only paycheck, but it is my main way of my main source of what I rely on. So anyways, um, I'm expecting a huge or I'm hoping for a huge blowout this year. And that I make way more than $397.68. Even though I can't force it, I can only just keep working hard and promoting my channel. And hoping that one day in my prayers that Pornhub will give me a big promotion and boost in the, rec the algorithm. Because I really want to be in the algorithm. It's important that my revenue goes up and that my paychecks on Pornhub continue to flourish and be so blessed and abundant after all it is residual income which i like about it and the more videos that you post the less work that you have to do if you're making really good content so this month the first seven days i only made 66 dollars and 87 cents And there you have it. These are my first six months as a porn model, not a porn star, but a porn model on Pornhub. Thank you, P-Hub. I love you. Mwah.